What's going on? It's your boy King Dez here. Another episode of Brunch with the Boys. We have a special guest this evening. But first, what's going on, gentlemen? Easy. What's good, everybody? This is Mr. Jim. And I'm just feeling real central right now. I think I'm going to try to put my dick in a box. What do you think? Okay, and first just, of all, I don't want to hear your dick in a box and sensual in the same sentence. Yeah, okay. I don't want no part of that. I'm not, not interested. real nigga shit right there. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. No, no, shit I, mean, I just heard a Jeezy song. I can't hear you talk about your dick in a box. I'm just thinking about that's a great gift. No? So you you hear the this beat and you feel sensual? Yeah. <laughs> I want to give something away. That's what's up, man. I want to give something away. That's what's up. Really? So, so yeah. who we got with us today? I think she's going to go by Sasha. Is that correct? Sasha. Is that that's it, correct. Sasha? No, Absolutely. like Sasha. Is it? That's not how she said no, it. No, she didn't. Okay, said that. No. I'll take that. I like the way really? I said it. That's too. fine. Sasha. For, okay, all right. So sassy. Oh, yeah. All y'all with lisp, though. Be careful. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Talking about ta ta. <laughs> that was intentional. That was intentional. Ta ta sauce. Ta ta. So today we're getting into an interesting topic, and, um, you know, we had to have a guest, a female guest listener on this one, really for it to be effective. And we're going to talk about the power of the dick. All right. So, you know, we needed to have a female on this topic because realistically, niggas be on that bullshit and we tell them a lot of lies. You know, Absolutely. the niggas out here lying whoa, on whoa, their dick. Whoa. And I and, and I don't mean to say us because, you know, but niggas be lying. So we had to have a female on here to discuss some of these things. And I think the first thing we need to do is establish what is good dick. Because the power of the dick only works with good dick. You know, That's every true. nigga with a dick <clears throat> don't have any power. But good dick, to your point, is subjective and relative. Because if you have been saying, get no dick, bad dick looks like good dick to you. That is true. That's possible, too. That's very, Are very there true. not universal, you know, standards for what good dick is? And I think I have some. So I'm going to mm-hmm. throw them at you. Yeah, you let can me, really, let me you hear know, let me I know. I want to know what he thinks. Um, the first one is this dick makes you come 92.3% of the time. Then that's good dick. That's good dick, God yeah, damn it. Absolutely. And I don't care how big it is. Size is not a factor. It, yeah, it's not necessarily. Not the main size. factor, but it does obviously contribute. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's a good percentage. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. 93% yeah. of the time. That's a strong percentage. That means that they're yeah. trying. They're making an attempt, and it's not solely about them. Yeah, yeah, because men tend yeah. to be a little bit selfish. But, you know, I think that's more of a younger thing when you're young and you're just trying to get it, trying to capture that feeling over and over again. Only objective is yourself. I mean, as we get older, we start realizing, oh, they got feelings too. So they matter. You, when you're in your 20s, you're chasing your, you're, it's akin to chasing your first high. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're trying to chase that feeling forever and ever. And unfortunately for a lot of women, they happen to be casualties of your, uh, of your quest. And you, you know why I agree with that, not to get off topic. No, I but, think this is on subject. You know, actually. a lot of um, a lot of men, they feel, a lot of women, excuse me, they say, you better not be fucking her like you fucking me. You know, when you're young, it was easier to fuck so-and-so one way and to fuck, you know what I'm saying, this bitch another way. Maybe you liked her more. Maybe it was, you know what I'm saying, you treated her differently. And then I think as you become older, you become a more uh, seasoned lover. You know how to please a woman. So you start to do it how you do it. And you fucking everybody great. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like that's how I be. That's how I came on as a man. Like it used to be, oh, how I feel about you subjective. But then it was just, I'm going to get everyone a great experience mm-hmm. or my best experience. Really, dog, it's, it's a science to this shit. And I was kind of doing some research 
So oh, shit. some of the research, research, I know, I know. I'm just saying, though, because you got to have an intellectual and a scientific approach to it, too. If you really sit here and think about it, most scientists will say that men are typically more left brained. And that means typically more linear. And what that really means for them is that that left side of the brain is where dopamine is produced. And if anyone know about dopamine, is is you get high off of that. Basically. It's dope. It's just dope. It's really just dope. <laughs> That's right? where dope came from. That's where your motivation comes from, is how much dopamine you're releasing. So as a man, you're trying to chase that feeling uh, or chase that high as much as possible. And that's why you engage in those behaviors to continue to raise that dopamine feel. Now, women on the other side, they say they're more right brain, which means typically they tend to be more creative and emotional, sensual, passionate. And this is that side of the brain is where serotonin lives. So that's that hormone, but it's called the happy hormone. Would that make you go to sleep? Oh, no, that's something no, else. No, that's, that's melatonin. melatonin. You trip. I don't know. I know. I know. A nigga named <laughs> He's Tony not I, a chemist, man. Or, <laughs> you know what I mean? All I know is a nigga named Tony I hoop with, but I don't you know. I mean? I'm melatonin. I don't Tony know his got, sister. Got him two for five and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and the and the fucked up thing is, you can raise your dopamine levels by yourself, but you can't raise your serotonin levels. And what's crazy about that? That's why women need more positive feedback and praise and appreciation. When we're talking about the initiation of an engagement of sex. And the fucked up thing is that men actually have 50% more serotonin receptors than women. So it it's very easy for a man to be happy off of just some sex. Now, women, it takes them twice as much. I'm just saying it takes more of that appreciation, the care and all that type of stuff to, to, to gain their attraction. Um, to make them happy. So it's in some it scientific shit. I was just about to say, what's our guest think? Yeah, She's what do you woman. think? Yeah, I d- definitely think it depends on what they're looking for. If they're just looking for sex, then I don't really think that they need all of that loving and caring if they're that type of woman. So you don't think even in that type of situation that you want to feel desired? Like attractive. Well, absolutely, they want to, they want to feel desired, but it doesn't take all of the care and, I feel and the like emotion. I in that, yeah. that emotion. There but it's gonna, it's gonna, I would argue that man wants to feel desired too. Yeah, but wouldn't mm-hmm. it take a man just telling you how wonderful you look and, and how their desire of you is on another level? Like they'd snatch you up right now and put you in a white band. You tell whole poems. You tell, you give a whole <laughs> poem every time you talk to him. So when you I talk, agree, you talk like you're I'm, I'm speaking just, a poem, like dog. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. But you've been saying a lot of shit though. What are you saying? Like, like spit that wonderful shit out, this and dog. Sometimes she's talking about that natural raw attraction. If I, I believe so. If you go out and you meet someone, you're looking for some sex. You don't care what they yeah, say. Yeah, you don't, don't care, care about what they, they say. As soon as you know she, he looking, she right. ready. If they look good enough. Yeah, then. that's Bam. really what it is. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, he don't, so you're telling me. You just don't want to hear that. that dude don't, you want to work hard for everything. <laughs> shit, that why. dude don't need to have no game is what you're telling some me. Some days he gets lucky. He can have game, but it depends on how, like from, you know, some people. I know that if it's been a while and yeah. they're just looking decent and they yeah. look your direction then you don't even have no need to have no game you just need to be at the right place at the right time you know? absolutely damn listen no. I can be honest with you I've never had game they need, if they look good enough like if you're I would want to say like maybe a 9 or 8 damn. then they can get it good I mean, think about th- gentlemen nine, think about eight, this I mean, good like, high standards how too. hard have you ever tried for some sex I mean like really how much has fell into your I life mean, or which you've worked for it More than fell into your lap that you've worked for, correct? Yeah, yeah. I think every man is living a different life. You yeah. know, um, depends on how you. When who you're you are. good looking, you you have less problems. Yes. Because shit comes to you a little bit easier. In all parts of life. Yeah, in Facts. all parts. Yeah, for Facts. that matter. But especially when it comes to this, you're more inclined to get a look and you know slide on something easier than that ugly dude. She she doesn't you know, know if his personality good, is great. And if that job is making six foot, like all the things that make right. him good enough, yeah. she probably won't be able to see unless she gives him a chance. And I don't know if she's going to do it. So I th- it's yeah. just a different situation. And it That's depends fair. on where That's she fair. is in her life as well. What um, do you mean by that? If she has just broken up with someone, then mm. she's definitely not looking for, well, it depends on the woman, but she might not be looking for a relationship or 
necessarily even for her for him to care about her. Is there a, is there a club that has those type of women East. plus the other <laughs> women that you were talking about previously that don't Stranger really Stranger danger alert, alert, <laughs> alert, well, alert. that's a weird question. <laughs> I just didn't yeah. I'm just trying to pick a brain. I don't, I don't know if she uh, knew it. You sound anything like you're like trying that. to go conduct your own personal <laughs> no, research. It's just some research. It's, yeah. it's nothing serious guys. Yeah. I was just okay, don't worry no about it. No affiliation. You can you can write it down later for me. Yeah. I, I like what you said though about where she is because it, Realistically, if you're looking for so many women are relationship goal oriented when, right. you know, in everything that they do, it's like, I'm looking for my king and shit. I hate when I hear that shit. I swear <laughs> to God. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? So they're, they're already in it. And I hear people put out in the universe what you want and all that. And I, and I hear that, you know, you want what you want. You got to keep it real. But I, I, if she's looking at that, Sex to her is going to be like you want it, Rob. Difficult. You know, she's going to make you. You're going to no, wait. Talk. You're going to work. Talk. She's going to make sure you're you're certain you want her. Is any of this wrong? Reg- you know what I mean? Was real regular in the end. Am I wrong here, Sasha? Sasha. No. Yeah. No, he's he's correct. I'm telling you. So, so do you think that men want sex more than women, or do you think that? No, think no that. we're, we're going to get into that. I definitely think it's equal. Um, from oh. most women that I've heard, I think that it's equal. It's just that men are a little bit more blasé about sex. And it it, it depends on the situation yeah. still. Um, but at times, women can want it more. And it also still depends on like where they are in their life. Like if they're older, like 45s and ups, or you know, going past menopause, at times they hey. can not necessarily want it. Obviously, a younger woman is going to be more. I feel like we overthink you know. it is. Let me tell you something. All right. Any woman go out right now mm-hmm. with the intent of getting fucked tonight, she's going to be able to pretty much guarantee she's going to get Easy. fucked. Tonight. Yeah, if she of wants course. it. We just talked it's about that. Men, but men can't do that. We, we can't. can't. It's we simple. Can't. So to me, there's a the difference. We we can give ourselves great percentages. I mean, <laughs> but never I've, as had, as I've as had as many as weekends as where, listen, nigga, I, you can't tell me that ain't you, all but so. You, you, you to the quad, bro. Okay? Yeah, no, but my, no. But my point is, is that Never the percentage that they've achieved. No, which is and, and, and hundred. Just to be clear, the difference is this is pre-established pussy or pussy that I've already worked work on. Is, you know what I mean? Yes. Not strange pussy. Right. Not I went to the gas station. I met a nigga and we fucking in the back. You know what I mean? Like right. y'all can get any dick you want. You right. know, so. That's a lot of power, man. Yeah. I'm not yeah, that's, that one. Old and that, new. That'd yeah. be hard. Old, oh, God. God. Said old and new. Oh yeah, that would be hard. Did you could you deal with that power, Jeezy? <laughs> I, I'd, I'd undoubtedly misuse it. I'd undoubtedly, God would never. God, the, he laughed when he heard that statement right there. I would misuse that power to, and I know that about myself. So right. yeah, I definitely wouldn't be able to handle. It. I feel like you I would. Think Jen would. Yeah, I don't think He's like you I don't would. want it. No. Take it back. I think he keep too it. Heavy. I think he'd keep it and be like, I can handle the burden, if anyone, because I, I can take girls on vacations and sleep next to them for two nights straight and not touch them. It doesn't matter if we left the country and we were in a foreign and, you know, I pay for everything. No, I don't need the pussy. Let's just eat and Man, talk. That sounds crazy. Let's Why just, do y'all like that? What? No, 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 this, is what he, this is what he That's did, That's the girl. truth. Oh, sure. <laughs> I know, listeners, you're not here with us, but I want you to know the look of disappointment I once discussed long ago, she had that same look when she looked she at sure that. She sure did. I, I she could said, relate. oh, oh. Oh, my God. That's not a problem. That's nice. Just clean it up. Clean I think, it up. I think, I think that you cleaned it up. But I think that goes a long no. way with fucking her brain and fucking her mind. And and we're all going to talk about, we can talk about it right now. Okay. You I don't know, think the way, exclusive, by the way. The way women view sex. And one of the ways is... Her mind, like you have to get to her, her head. You know what I'm saying? Get inside on the on the inside. You mean, give her some head. Well, that would work too. You know what I'm saying? I imagine, but really, realistically, women want to fantasize. They want to remember, and imagine. That's the way to really get them going. Like the seduction. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you do have to kind of work harder to arouse them. But once they get going, shit. That's like a car that been, you know, warmed up for five minutes. That shit could give you, you know, 500 miles on a filled tank. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. maybe that's a horrible analogy, but. Yeah, Forever comparing women to cars. Yeah. Man. I don't even know. And I normally don't do that with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, some you cars? Had, Come on. Yeah, probably I mean, some other, no. other disrespects. You, say, uh, yeah, something you are works. sounding a little R. Kelly-ish. Yeah. You remind me of what? Oh, you going to put me in R. Kelly? I'm just, I'm just saying a G. Man, look at the caveman calling the other guy a perv. Yeah. Oh, who's a caveman? I'm... We just established that I'm a gentleman at nature. 
basically. Yeah, that was really nice of him. Like for real, vacation. real talk. That, I, Would you do that? that? Would you appreciate if you're a man invites you on a trip and it's overnight, one room, etc. Do you, if you say yes, are you saying to yourself, "I will sleep with this man"? I feel like if I accept something like that, I'm expecting that's what he's looking for. Yeah. Boom. Okay, so let's 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 break that down. So if you if that's what you're expecting and it doesn't happen, does that fuck you up in a negative way or a positive way? In a positive way, because now I know that I can have a friend, and most men don't want that with a woman. I'm just trying to tell y'all. Something. So when you go and you say I mean, yes to go, <laughs> so when you go and you say <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, but but if you go and you say yes, do you uh, are you saying yes to the sex then? Essentially, yes, you just said that. Yeah. I, I feel like I would have to. That's be. The expectation, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like, I'm not trying. That's to, happened before, and be that's friend. happened to people that who yeah. I know, and yeah, fuck. I've told them that you know, you, you know, you're gonna have to sleep with them, right? How did it go? I mean, from what your friends and told the response you, was it yes? Was yes, it a I'm positive or negative Fucking interaction kidding. most I, of the time? It was. I think it was a positive interaction. I think that they wanted the <laughs> they they wanted the experience, like the vacation or whatever it was, and the person they didn't mind the person, so they're like, okay, they wait, didn't no, mind. Just... And I can't tell you how often <laughs> I've heard women use those type of references. In situations where, oh, he invited me to dinner. I don't really like that nigga, but it's a free I'm, meal. Yeah, all the time. And, and all day. that type of shit there, yeah. free Every dates day. in there. So you think like she's that. dating you, but she's really just looking for the experience. And yeah. that's some bullshit. Or just I liked him fine, Women like so I went on a free vacation <laughs> and <laughs> fucked him and and gave my body. With, that not, shit sounds like prostitution. You know, many, not prostitution. you know how many it's women really... That's really, the course of life. That's it is. But you know how many women just literally do that for the... Just the sheer entertainment of it all. It's so just, life before, they want time life before to money was quid pro quo. Yeah. It, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. You do for me and I do for you. That's real. Do you know what I'm saying? That's that was real. life. You're getting you something money. monetary out of it. Yeah. It's it's that's basic She's prostitution. That's experience. the definition. A lot of women don't like to hear that, but honestly, if it is, if you're getting something you. in exchange for that, I appreciate it's you absolutely for prostitution. And, but if it's just what you're saying, just like the experience, no, it's kind of hard. No, because it, so, again, is it a want to do it or is it a Mm, or I have to. I, I have to, or I, you know what I mean? Because if you feel like you have to fucking that's prostitution, bitch. Come on, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you're doing it for because hey, you do. But that even that you saying uh, he's fine, that shit to me, like you doing me a favor. I don't want that mm-hmm. shit. You don't you know want no I mean? pity sex. Oh, oh, man. You ain't never took no pity sex in your life. <sighs> I mean, every man's took a little pity head, right? <laughs> a little pity head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck a throat good too. Pity, huh? Okay. <laughs> You know, you get that payback. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to handle your business. But I don't know. I don't want it like that. I don't want it in a situation so where... So you're just going to eat that banana while we talk about the power of the D? That's, that's <laughs> not, not ironic. Problem. Eat the banana. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. D. You're not going to talk to Jesus like that. That's what you're not going to do. <laughs> that's what you're not going to do. You definitely ain't talking to me. I tell you that. So one of the things you also said earlier was about being desired. And, and when you're in that moment, you want that. And that's something that's important to women. That Absolutely. Being desired is like an orgasm for them. Would you agree with that? Or is that taking it too far? Damn, work out? Hey, that's what the I'm article say said. That's like an orgasm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's, those are on two different levels. Mm-hmm. Um, but we definitely want to feel wanted. I feel mm-hmm. like everybody would. I agree with that. I mean, I think that's basic attraction. You want to know that you're attracted, that you're attracted to someone. Do you know what though? I'm gonna disagree with that. Just for devil's advocate, I'm gonna okay. tell you why. Because give me that. I think you got. I'm mean, use one sample size, but I don't think it's just this group of people. You got these old men, sugar daddies. No, they out of shape. No, they may not be attractive. Skin mm-hmm. saggy, dick don't work, hair gone, all this shit. With a bad bitch. Mm-hmm. They Living. know that bitch don't think they cute. Mm. They know she only here because my money. But you know what? I'm fine because my dick still going to get hard when I get in that pussy. Yeah. I don't care if what her mind think of me. So I think they go with that shit. So that's a prime example. I can going disagree to with that just a tad bit. Demon. It's not necessarily... Oh, uh, you speak Spanish now? Okay. Damn it, that was going to be my line. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not necessarily about whether or not they can still have sex with a woman. At least from my point of view, it's what they show to the world. Oh, I have this person on yeah. my arm. You know, look, I'm still the shit because I can pull yeah. this. I think that's, that's just true. equal. I think that's an aspect. I think what I said was an aspect, but I think they're, I don't think they, they're, they're, they can't sweep each other out. Yeah. I mean, the reality is Miami, Florida, if anyone goes there, you can walk into a mall and see this a zillion times. I see that anywhere. You'll see that in Orlando. Yeah, I'm going to see that here. in the city. Yeah. yeah, you go to Millennium Mall, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I, you know, and, and again, mm-hmm. if I was 
a trick in that way. It's hard to hate on these men. You know, you, you got to get it how you live. But at the same time, boy, it got to be tough to know that everything is linked to your ability to provide and give to them freely and willing. So basically, the moment you don't, it's like, nigga. You got to have a strong psyche. You have to have a strong psyche, you have to have a strong psyche and a man's dick is tied to his head. That's, you know that's, what nothing, that's nothing different than like, like, like ugly niggas and little niggas been having to work extra hard, nigga, for millennia. You know what I'm saying? When, when when you went back in the day and people had to catch their food and doing all that and people were looking at who was the biggest or the brawniest, that little nigga had to work hard to show. Yeah. Hey, just because he taller than me don't mean he better than me. Like, they always had to work hard. So, yeah. I don't think this is no different. You know what I'm saying? If you ugly, you got to do some extra shit that cute niggas don't got to do. It's true. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. You do got No more, think, no less. And I think if you're older and you want a younger woman, you're going to have to pay. Oh, my God. I don't think so. I think when I'm, I think when Mostly, I'm, 50, I think well, when I'm fifty years old, I can put a thirty some girl. And, 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 and when I say pay, stability is important to that woman, and the fact that you can provide it, it matters to her almost undoubtedly. But I don't think it has anything to do with whether the fact I'm I'm thirty or forty or 50. because I think you're speaking more to the fact as to whether or not you can pull a thirty year old. You know what I mean? Sometimes that shit is even about. We were just talking about old guys and young women. Sometimes it's not that he pulled her. She saw the car he drove. She saw. Oh, we work together, and I know he has a nice position in the company. Like it's Therefore, different things to, that can to bring your him point. Des would never know that. Yeah, but my point is, I can eliminate the situations that would cause her to judge me based on things that she sees. She don't got to know what I do. She ain't got to see my car if I ain't driving in to pick her up. But there's ways you can find out people really fuck with you without that. But I think your point. I think you're implying though that because you're good looking, that you're you're going to be afforded. You're going to be overlooked for these other things. The fact that you're still older, like she's still, she, you being good looking isn't enough to her. You know what I mean? I disagree. It, it can be if she's yeah, looking for exactly. something more than just being to be taken care of. That's Correct. True. That's my point. So that's a good. That's point. real. That's real. Would you uh, date an older man? No. None. How old? Much yeah. older would you go? Mm, ten years tops. Ten is even a lot. Yeah, that's it's a lot to say. It. That's the, a lot to say. Yeah, 10 years, like, that's a big difference. So you don't believe in age is nothing but a number? Yes and no. When I was younger, I definitely thought that age was just a number yeah, until I got old older. Dick. And then I realized <laughs> people are children still when they're 40. So yeah, we it's, can't be. It's, it's hard. And then I, I kind of feel like um, their brain might just not be developed as much as I was yeah. like it Some to be. Some of them just not responsible. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're yeah. not. We'll and I feel be. like a lot of times when men go for younger women at an older age, they're they're not there. They're not worthy of their own age group. Mm. You know, and, and, and that makes not sense. worthy. No. <laughs> I, mean, I, I can't argue with her point, but I, sometimes I think it's for a man and certain men in particular, we can vibe and get along with any range, you know what I mean? Because we're intelligent. so Or versatile. Yeah, versatile and, and chameleons in that sense to where it's easy for us to vibe on any level. You know what I mean? So What but, is it that makes you want to go with someone who is so much younger than oh, you? Oh, if you're going younger, it's because you you want looks. You want someone who's looking good. I'm telling you, that shit but, but, you is first everything going to come to looks almost because young, to me. What's younger? If you're 60, 40 is younger. If you're 40, 20 is younger. So first of all, what age group are we talking about? Are we doing 20 years younger, 10 years younger? I, I, I don't, don't think, to, to me, I agree with you. 10 years younger is doable. But I think 20 years is... You're, yeah, you know what I mean. This is you're obviously not even in the, for you're some not even of the, in the same era. Yeah, yeah, this is something more superficial. You know, underneath everything, I'm not saying you can't care for that person, love them sincerely, et cetera, et cetera. But a part of why you're 20 years younger, you want something superficial. You wanted that younger person. No, I'm questioning it. Like, do you like children? Like, honestly, that's how I see it. <laughs> Like, when know. you're that young, like on the borderline of 18 and 17, like that creeps me yeah. out. Well, that yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. If like, we're talking about twenty and forty, that kind of stuff under yeah. twenty four, yeah, it's it's a little touchy, especially when they look like yeah. they have nothing going on. They look very childlike, yeah. and I've seen that a lot. That's why I'm bringing it up. That's I'm not weird. saying that yeah, everyone is like 40. that, but even when it comes to porn, like you know, when you see, um, you know, like on the sidelines or whatever it is, like the barely legal yeah. type, that they look like kids, and yeah. because there's such a high market of it, because I see so many videos advertised to me, I'm like, so evidently there's a lot of the population who <laughs> I've never got that. into that. I've never got into that. I think it's a certain no, demographic yeah. that I'll yeah. use to the imagination yeah. of the listeners. That's really what it comes down I'm, to. Yeah, I'm not disrespecting any of the listeners who's into that. I just, nah, I just I think can't. It's, no, I'm disrespecting. I think it's a certain group of people that, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Sasha. that like that. No, yeah. I mean, 
it's hard to see something wrong with wanting someone younger. But when I think younger, I'm not thinking 20 years. So I definitely see where you're coming from. If I say I want a younger woman, I need six, seven years. You know, that's what I mean. That's reasonable. We're 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 still going to be in the same era. You just want to keep. Have yeah. them keep you a little bit younger. Exactly. Keep me a little light and fresh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My other bitch got stale. You know what I'm saying? She was looking real dry and shit. <laughs> Honestly, dusty. that's one of my biggest fears. What is what is, is your being fear? left for a younger woman? Really? That's real and, shit. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I laugh, but I'm, that's real shit. But I, I see that so often. And I'm young myself. I'm in my like early to mid 20s. And I have friends who are. Um, who are the piece. other woman in in a marriage? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and it, it, it they looking for new friends. Yeah. <laughs> for real though, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, you sound yeah. like an old ass. And man. that, that, was that frightens me, yeah. and I see it so often. And even when I'm in the grocery store yeah. or wherever I am, mm-hmm. I have men turn around and look at me or try and get at me with their yeah. wife in the other aisle. And it's, don't I feel judge like it's them. Just look so at your eyes. Don't judge them. Just Listen, you don't know where those men through. are. Nigga, you that shit ain't gonna work. But maybe it do sometimes. <laughs> no, it does sometimes because that's what they keep trying. Yeah, hey. It's working for Don't someone. judge them. You just keep walking away so he can get you a good look. So you can get a good look. That's tough. <laughs> you know, no, uh, I just stare now. I, I totally understand that. To me, I think every man wants his woman to be desirable. Mm. And he doesn't want her to lose that attraction. He wants to be able to look at her and still be like, all right. He wants other men to look at her and be like, all right, bro, I see you over there, dog. You know, Because every man feels great when you walk by with a bad chick and another guy who you don't know gives you that, head, all right, player. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that strong yeah. head nod, a, 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 a fist. Like what? That too. Yeah. Come on, man. So That's that shit amazing. feels good. So I think really yeah, women that keep themselves up are less likely to be left. And I'm not saying they're not going to be cheated on. I, two to different issues here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? But yeah, yeah. they're less likely to be left because a lot of times if a man leaves, leaves to me, I think his base, he's not attracted. He doesn't look at her and have that fire anymore. And that's us being what? visual creatures. You yeah. think You think if uh, a man, maybe I just didn't hear you. You think if a man leaves a woman, it's because she's not attractive. Not strictly anymore? that. No, not strictly How that. How about entirely. she changed? Or she no, no, it's going to always be so much. Because I said this on another podcast. I think it's harder for a man to detach in a relationship than it is for a woman. And a lot of women don't give men credit for that. Yeah. But, you know, something we were speaking strictly to the looks thing. I think that's important. And I guess I should have voiced that more clearly. Okay. I think that's important. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you this question, Sasha. When you get married, Sasha. do you think... I, <laughs> when you get married, do you anticipate having more sex or giving your husband more sex? Do you think about what sex looks like on the other side of that? I do. I've been kind of worried. Um, first of all, I don't know if marriage is in the cards for me. Why do you say that? Why? It's just the way that it's looking, so many people get divorced. Facts. I'm questioning if I do want to put that strain on a relationship. However, I don't want to be 60 and saying this is my boyfriend. Yeah. Who the I, fuck wants to be 70 and alone? You know, Jay said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's right. And I, and I want to be able to say, okay, that's my husband. Yes, we are going to die together. You know, some Tough. at that point in time in my life. He's just afraid. Yeah. That's yeah, a reason. Fear does fear. a lot of things, yeah. man. But I definitely would like to life partner. have pardon? A life partner. Yes. Yeah, that's real. You can have a life partner without getting married. Yeah, you marriage can. is marriage is a legally binding document yeah, it's just a piece of that paper, memorializes right? what you already have anyway. You said this earlier. You can sign over the power of attorney and give them rights in so many other ways yeah. without marriage. Yeah. You know. And still show that you commitment. Can, you can legitimately give them all the rights in so many different ways. I feel like it makes people try harder, though. Yeah. I got a question. You got to stay on your game. Would anybody here That's recommend marriage? If you had a younger sibling or friend that was thinking about it or contemplating I still would it? recommend it. I would, I would approach opinion. mine differently. Um, I would do what we just discussed for five to ten years. And, 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 and maybe I'm pushing it too far maybe be because ten. I'm in a situation, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a situation. I feel some type of way right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, maybe I'll change my view on this later. But, man, you need to keep them on their toes. And you said it just moments ago. They try harder. And effort is everything it in is a long-term in a relationship. relationship. Yeah. So if I... If I can't say to you, you know, when you're just talking and you're not married and the other person says, I feel some type of way about this, it's a priority immediately. That tends to 
you know, go away once you're in a long-term relationship. And once you're not prioritized the same way, that's the beginning of the end. You know what I mean? And I want to be in a situation where I'm always going to be important like I was day one on days 5,000. And I hear you. I think, honestly, if you approach a relationship, and Sasha, this is just my personal advice, if you can just find someone that you can be best friends with and y'all vibe on that friendship level where you can, where you can stand to be around them all the time that you can be mad at them and then get back together in like five seconds because that's your best friend. That means it's getting too serious. You need to stop talking to him. No, I'm, I'm sorry. What, I what, I was what, else what I'm, no, what I'm saying is <laughs> if you can get, if you can get that relate, that friendship and that even a best friendship and best then you friend? get, and then you get that, I just so happen to be attracted to them and I really want to fuck them. Then at the end of the day, if you can get those two together, then that's longevity and that's what you want to put a ring on. That sounds like there's consistency in there. Oh my God. Consistency (laughs) is this nigga over here crazy. Consistency (laughs) is everything. Everything, bro. I heard you say that one episode. And and when I tell you, I feel that to my soul, consistency. (laughs) In fact, give me the slide. I'm sparking up on it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Nutrition shit. It's everything, y'all. Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Consistency, so, communication, and compromise. Oh, those, yeah. those three C's. Talk to me. Oh, man. Hey, you might say that one more time for all the listeners. Consistency, communication, and compromise. Ah, y'all heard it. Mm, and dedication, but that, that doesn't go with the three C's. You don't need to throw that D in there yet. <laughs> but yeah. Hey, yet. throw that D in there. If, you, if the D ain't in it, you, know, you ain't doing it right. Well, you want to throw them D's on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, I agree. I didn't answer your question, though. You, were, you told me, or you asked me. Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm worried about sex Please like, talk to diminishing me. after marriage, yeah, I think that that, that happens. Oh, of course it does. Yeah. I have a friend, she is what, 24, 25, and she tells me she doesn't want to have sex with her man. She <laughs> would definitely rather have a sister wife who would be there to Damn. have and I told sex you with her time. man when she doesn't feel like it. And she, oh, the majority no. of the time, she doesn't feel like it. Is the sex good? I'm guessing it's terrible. But see, that's just it. Why would she marry someone who is not dick her down right? Like that—that that makes no sense. What, it, what is it? Because is she does not want to have sex because he's not dick her down right, or because the the passion's gone. I don't know, but I'm, right, I'm assuming it's reasons. the the passion's gone because yeah. some. I mean, yeah, I mean, she was she fucking has, before they got married. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many so years I'm has assuming, it been? I don't know, probably ten or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this, this game been with half for a decade. This ain't the reason. You gotta just. Check, I don't know. I, I feel yeah, like I got the type of dick that can push through a few decades, nigga. Let me ask you a question, Sasha. Before Sasha, um, yeah, do you have a plan of attack for marriage and sex? Like, because um, that's the problem. You're saying it, but you know, are you thinking what well, this is what I'm counseling? Do. Counseling. counseling, and all, and keeping it fresh. I I don't know about you guys, but for me, I feel like you always need to introduce something new or go back to something that you liked. like. Like a sister wife. And, mm, no, for well, me, not that. Yeah. If that oh, works oh, for see, you, la- I'm not mad the lingerie. You know the. Do you guys get tired of that? Or? Shit, no, nah, you can't get tired. We're visual creatures, so however you change the package, I mean, you we'll, can recycle we'll un- it too. Yeah, we'll unwrap we no the same shit gift all the time. Yeah, yeah, we'll unwrap the same gift and dress it up like dress we it up. never saw it before. Initiation like is wife. important. Mm. Oh, initiation! Well, we really is gonna get important. on a sister wife, ain't we? Initiation right. for a man—that's everything. So you're you're worried about that shit? Jump it off somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Snatch you know him I mean? off. You know, just snatch him up. Yeah. You one can of my do that. one mm, of my that, best right experiences. In the pay for you know, me, I'm not worried because I know where my drive is. Yeah. Um, I'm sort of more so worried about the man. Yeah. But you never know. I can't tell myself what I'm going to be doing ten years down That's the line. I don't for sure know. That's a fact. I hope your sex drive doesn't change. I hope so too. I yeah. mean, keep the dopamine levels. A lot up of there. soccer moms thought the same thing. And dog, uh, listen, <laughs> a man marries a woman because he says, "Damn, this pussy good, and I want it like this forever." I disagree. Talk to me then. What's the opposite? Nah, when does a man fucking I, do then? It's a I think, I think what I think when a man marries a woman, because let me be honest, if you're a man worth the worth the assault, you can get some good pussy without marrying a hoe. I think a man, when he marries a hoe, it's because he like, she could raise my kids the way they need to be I raised. Thought that, okay, yeah. no. You 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 went too deep. I'm staying right surface level on okay. what we're talking about. What I mean specifically is on D, I read too much into it. You read, read too much into it. I'm okay. saying you sensitive. All of that shit matters, obviously. <laughs> I think you're sensible. Yeah, thank hey, you so much. Listen, sister. all of that shit matters, and in no way am I disagreeing. I'm saying specifically, you're looking for the package. If you're thinking longevity, I'm certainly not going to sign up for. Yes, 
he's this, 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 but he can't satisfy me sexually. If it's one or the other, then no, then you don't marry that person. You don't even be in a relationship with that person. That's my point. I'll give you a good example, man. Um, Me and you know somebody who, man, had a really good dude, right? Dude was working 40 hours, making decent money, taking care of his kids, taking her out, providing everything that she wanted, Mm -hmm. everything that she needed, and was lame as shit in the bedroom. So the power of the D evidently was non-existent. Damn. And not a Jeezy. (laughs) And she ended up leaving that man for just someone who had amazing dick. That's it. And you know what the fucked up thing is? And y'all tell me if this is accurate enough. And you know what? You deal with a lot of women all the time. I've seen situations where a woman will stay with with a brother who has good dick. Way longer, good and he, can, he and he might not be shit, but way longer than a good man with subpar dick. Oh, yes. she, she digmatized though. That's... Yes, she is digmatized. No, yeah. good dick mm-hmm. is a blessing. <laughs> Hallelujah! Like they they know not every nigga <laughs> is gonna be able to make them come. Dog, that's a fact. You it's talk hard. to any girl. You guys don't really do that so much, and not necessarily you, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's it. not easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some I, women I still have it from a man. You still have a what? Say what? Say what? No. And off of intercourse. Hold on. Say what? You heard what she said. Off of nothing that they've done. Not off of nothing? Damn. Damn. Not even head. That makes me feel bad. Thug, I I hurt for you. Yeah. It's all right. If I could hook, if I could hook you up, girl, I would have made it my mission. <laughs> now, I love I used to love hearing that shit. When a girl said that, I'd be like, oh, really? Hey. Sometimes they're lying. A lot of times they're lying. That's fine. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. still going to get the I job. I hear that though. a lot. Why are you what, lying for what reason? What's the Just purpose? Just so it can be over. They can go home. Oh, well, lying that they too. came? Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm sure chicks fake it. Yeah. Man. I think you got to know, though. There's <laughs> no way. He's searching back into his mind. No, no, no. Because if they want the truth, they can't I handle I think you truth. can know oh, the no. difference between a woman faking and a woman. Niggas can't handle the truth. You know, no, I agree. That. I think there's a lot of dead women in a lot of dead alleys, women? in alleys and garbage cans off of just finding out that his woman been lying to him we, about coming. I'm that was, telling you. That was morbid. I'm telling you, dog. Crimes of passion. Crimes of passion happen all the time. Imagine if you fucking your girl for 10 years and one day y'all got in a fight. And you know women always like to dig deep. We do. Oh, I'm talking about they'll stab you in the back multiple times when they hurt and they ready to hurt you. And you'll be like, and your motherfucking non-dick ass, I ain't coming 10 Sorry. motherfucking years. Oh yes. Oh my God! You know well, what listen, that said me on a tailspin. Let me say, let me say some of that. Tailspin. Tail First of all, a, a nigga that gets sensitive by that is inexperienced. And what I mean by that is, any nigga with experience knows the dick fit the keyhole of, of a woman different ways depending on a woman. Agreed. So Jeezy alluded to that early in the podcast. There's women you're gonna fuck. They gonna be like, God damn, I ain't never gonna be able to fit this whole thing in there. And then you bottoming out. And then this chick, you swallow your whole dick. You like, well, I thought I was making a difference, but this bitch is over here checking her phone and shit. You know what I mean? And then everything in between, where you like, never happened. Well, to it's a, it's a fucking no, 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 speed. No, but just... my point is, and then you got everything in the middle where you can make a come, but you got to work hard. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So my point is, is that that's the same dick, but twelve different women could have, you know, twelve different experiences different with that same person. They wouldn't all have the same appearance, uh, same opinion that I got. The guy didn't change. Quick random uh, tangent, of course, ladies. When you're mad at your man, if you're going to give him the pussy, don't just be quiet and shit trying to punish him. We He's fucking really hate mad. that you shit. You got to fuck the Bitch, sound out of him. Are you big mad or small mad? No, no. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> That's the type of shit that could get you choked out. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to so have sex, don't have sex. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I can agree with you. No, 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 no. But it gives a woman more satisfaction to... Just give it away and not want, like, and not really be enjoying it. But, but if you hit it right, though, you're going to say, gonna say that's something. That's me who will do that's that. But women, up, I'm not going to lie. Oh, women are spiteful. It's a good we way to make, yeah. To make so you that feel makes, like absolutely. That makes a difference on whether or not you come. Oh, not us. I mean, I'm still. No, I think you're going to ultimately <laughs> come. Not. You're going to still. Not. If you want to. No, you're going to still. No, but that shit is fucking unenjoyable. Very unenjoyable. Oh. <laughs> He doesn't want to feel like he's doing something that yeah. you don't it's, want. It's, well, see, that's a whole nother genre of porn. If yeah, that's Asian that. porn but in general. Anyway. <laughs> I, I know what to do. This. <laughs> shut up. You shut up. You <laughs> come here. <laughs> no, you think they getting stabbed, dog. <laughs> oh, she is. <laughs> but, no, I, I, just, I just had to say that. I hate that shit. I think y'all... 
Y'all dead wrong. The way y'all, y'all know y'all hurting us with that one, boy. But I guess not everyone, because apparently that, that ain't shit to you. Don't take it personal. <laughs> That's crazy. That's what's up. I know. I agree. Like, so you never had a situation at anyone at this table, and this includes you, Sasha, where you guys get in a huge fight, and you know, at the end of the day, she's gonna give it to you out of either obligation or. You know, you guys discuss that, hey, regardless of whether we're mad or not, you know, this is yours. And then why are you in it? She is. She she faded away. Like, she's not even there. She's just looking to the right and shit. Like, the right. like, you fucking a damn she's mannequin. She's still upset. She's still upset, but, you know, she want to give it. Like, why set me up like that? Why not? <laughs> but you got you to assist that. You just go to the office and be off. She might not want to withhold yeah. it and make it seem as though it's no, being you, Have you done that I before? agree, Des. You've no, done I've that never before. done okay, that. Okay. You just got to go to the office and beat off. Yeah, why, she's, why mad, she's even mad that you came to her. Yeah. Like, just go beat off. She wouldn't be mad at that shit. Right. So you got to take care of yourself. You got to know when to, you know, yeah. tag yourself in there. Make sure you your edge a little bit to make it worth your while. You'll go there for seven minutes. That has nothing to do with what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, spread the love, bro. Don't take be care selfish. Spread the love. Take care, take care of yourself in those moments, fellas. And don't really come in here with that bullshit. And yeah, I'm, if you know I'm she's not into it, it, just leave her alone. Yeah. Yeah, she could get some. Sometimes as men, we're just ignorant. We just want to see, like, man, let me see if she's going to fuck me, though. Anyway. <laughs> like, it's not logical, you know? It Wait, makes, long enough, though. That pussy start throbbing, though. Nah. Not, yeah, they're Wait, emotional creatures. We just they explained are. about this, the serotonin, I, man. Okay, okay so they say serious. women love sex, but their their desire is easily derailed by tiredness, resentment, and psychological problems. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they say so women. Is she crazy? Is she no, nah, crazy? No, nah. oh. like shit. Even with you, if emotional she works a lot. shit. Uh, exactly. If it could she be takes life care of your children, way. that takes up the majority of her day. Mm-hmm. Like and it problem. says women need a man's while. <laughs> it say women the needs disrespect. a man. I know, right? <laughs> Put these guns and he's I'm supposed to be the feminist of the group. You know what I'm saying? Is he really though? I think he's just talking just to talk. Uh, yeah, With that one. Too. <laughs> they say women need a man's up. testosterone to drive sex. No. So, no. 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 Yeah. So do you find that many talk women? Because honestly, most women do you know? Don't they typically say it's the man, the man, the man? You. The majority of women, yes. I suppose I have to keep thinking about the majority of women. But when it comes yeah, to me, no, I'm usually the aggressor when it comes to that. I never agree. Yeah. had that, that in a relationship. Amazing. And she comes off so subtle and soft, but in a relationship, she might be that a way. tiger underneath all that. You know I want no claws, though. No claws. That's baby. crazy. That sounds not beautiful. Up. I know you not. You love your skin. I understand that. <laughs> I don't even Cocoa know how we got here. <laughs> you know, yeah, he always talking about cocoa butter. Yeah, tell you something. I tell my fuckers I'm 53 years old and won't believe me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't with you, bro. I can't. When the first time you had sex, was it with yourself or with a man? What kind of question? I know is that? that's I'm a confused. weird question. Are you asking no. about the first time I masturbated or the first time yeah, I had clear, sex? They, sex is- I asked that. Well, well, I really asked that because specifically the article said that women's first sexual experience. experience is typically with another person while with man is with masturbation. Oh yeah, I get that what you're saying. So I'm just wondering, was your first time with someone or was it you know, your first sexual experience? Because you say you've never by come myself. with a man. Was it by yourself? Yes. Okay. Watching porn. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you don't want to know. Nope. Don't worry about nope. it. You have children, don't you? <laughs> You want, geez, you want to know? You want to know what? How old she was when she watched a porn mask? I don't know. I'm remember. Not about, I'm probably I'm under not. 10 or 10 or under. Damn! That's a different life than then. Than, than. <laughs> Stop stuttering, bro. Stop stuttering. Stop it stuttering. hurts you, bro. No, we don't know. Honestly, no, no. There are many factors that come to yeah, this. No, I don't know be. how she. Yeah, it gotta be, huh? I don't did know her situation. Not that hurt me. How she was, you know, how it she did. came it up did, though. It with did. her environment. All that shit matters. All that did. shit matters. <laughs> <laughs> like you want the honesty, man? You can't handle this honesty. No, no, I, I can know. definitely this, this You know, let's get back on topic now. This is just funny to us. Get back on topic. He's uncomfortable. This is uncomfortable. Completely, completely, completely. I don't know. Would you agree that women often come to bed willing to have a good experience, but not necessarily wanting or craving it? Yes. Um, ask the question one more time. Would you agree that women often go to bed willing to have a, a good sexual experience, but not necessarily wanting sex or even or being feeling aroused? Yes. Uh, I think that we're always ready to have a good sexual experience, but this goes back to the whole being tired thing. Mm-hmm. And 
actually being ready and not having to go to work super early in the morning. It depends on what they're doing. You had to go to work super early too, though. What, what men? Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. feel like you're always? I don't feel like you guys are always ready. Uh, Shit, me. I oh don't. God. It's just like how long it take? Who have you been with? Like, like, you know what they say about the Porsche? Three point two seconds. Yeah. I just don't know who you've been with, but that sounds sad. I don't know who y'all been with that aren't ready to be. Is it perspective a motherfucker? Though? How you got to be ready? You get your dick hard. You get your dick hard. I mean, that's what she it goes said. right back down. Mm. Damn. You take that personal? No. No. That's a good it. question, though. No. Yeah. You ever probably maybe given him a little head and the dick didn't get up and you like... Eh. But that's after probably like, you know, a few rounds when okay. I didn't get back up. That's so fine. That's, that's fine. But not the first time, no. No, never. Yeah. How would you feel about that? If it didn't, then I think that there's just... Actually, no, I'm wrong. It, that has happened before, mm-hmm. but that's only because he was going through something and his own problems. And Is that what you're telling yourself? No. I mean, he was telling himself that. No, I'm saying like, are you making an excuse or like? No, he tell you that, that could be that's real what he's though. Told me. That could be real. No, yeah. no, I'm sure that's what I'm saying. Did he tell her that or she? No, he told me that. Okay. No, it's not uh, all the in dick my head. In the I'll, mind. I'll accept if I'm not good enough. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know, but that's not the no, case. No, the dick in the mind is real. You how gotta, would you? That shit gotta be alone. Mm-hmm. I mean, how would you ever know if you weren't good enough? Like, how many people is it? If you fuck with thirty people and ten people tell you're not good, ten people say you're okay, and ten people say you're great, what are you? I don't even know how to answer your question. I don't even know, are people having sex and saying, rating, you're not that good. And then like, you don't don't know if you're good when you have a sexual experience. Like you leave the experience, you're like, "Mm, I don't know how she felt. You might be good to that person. Well, that's all you can judge though, right? Yeah. I I, I don't know. If they tell me that I'm amazing, I'm going to go by what they say. They might be lying, but I'm just going to go by what they say. We talked about on the previous podcast and we played that clip in regards to all the things a man would do for sex. And, you know, of course, we named, you know, Sneak, Pay For It. It was a number of things. Die was even on there. That's crazy, yeah. Steal. Cheap. We're not dying for dick. So, <laughs> what? A, uh, there's too much that uh, gets thrown at us for us. Yeah, yeah. I, I would figure that it. much. Yeah, I would figure a, that much. Too much what? good, too. <clears throat> too much good dick. Um, Damn. For good dick, we... That's hard to hear for somebody. I, I've heard... <laughs> <laughs> I've heard women will miss work for dick. I've oh, missed yeah. work for dick. You have? Oh, yes, yeah. I have. I feel like if a woman's going to miss work for dick, though, you guys should like be paying her. No, I agree with she that. She missed work I for actually dick. agree paying with that. Paying for what she missed work for? No, yeah. I agree. I'll pay you with this dick. <laughs> <laughs> you get so much, too. I get I, your I, sandwich. I, I'm not. <laughs> no, but I said, we'll go somewhere and get a sandwich. I ain't going to make the sandwich. <laughs> Or we'll order it. You want to yeah. make the sandwich for her? Why not? No, but no he, he was trying to, to upscale you. You know, uh, get you an upscale uh, tip. Yeah, I, I just know you. of it as a thing that, you know, women will make you a sandwich after. Oh, no, afterwards I'm not making a sandwich. I don't know what bitch y'all know, but. Oh, yeah. I'd be out. I'd be out. I'm. <laughs> Don't know about you to make the sandwich? <laughs> Shit, I'll be out here <laughs> in, 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 my, in my drawers in a frying pan, nigga, talking about how you like your So are you making the sandwich? Yeah. Yeah. Are you surprised, though, Jeezy? No, no, no. no. I mean, let's be honest. I no. think he cares more. I don't know that shit don't mean he I used to cook eggs for my hoes back in the day. Okay, I remember you yeah, used to do that. On the way out college, all all through college, if she stayed the night, she had two fried eggs in the morning. Over easy, however she liked them. You, you know made what her eggs? Yeah, I was cool. Like in your drawers? I mean, I'm shirtless in the drawers. <laughs> I was still living there, as always. That's really you know. sweet. Gave them that Ren Rains. You still frying up eggs for hoes, Jesus? Yeah. Always had eggs at the house. The protein. Damn, man. It's tight. Thought you know niggas out here, boy. Yeah, that was kind of the problem, though, and that's what why I learned it. And is that the real you, Jeezy? No, nah, I okay. mean, yeah, it is. It yeah. is. That's a little sample of this, a little sample of that. Not full on there, because which makes them want to stay, stay, stay. I was trying to get them to leave, but remember that was a good experience. experience. <laughs> so you always go back to that well, yeah, you know what I mean? So to speak. Yeah, <laughs> I never burnt many bridges in yeah. my day. You know what I mean? That's when you good. handled it that way, and yeah. I was it was that always good. It yeah. doesn't have to end bad. It does. You can always go back to it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Can you? Yeah. I can't. If it ends on good terms. Yeah. It did. Mm-hmm. What's another thing, Sasha, that you you've done for sex or women have done for the dick? We've like we paid for it, depending on oh, what yeah. kind of woman, uh, an older woman, sometimes who just wants someone. Like we have sugar mamas too. Yeah. There are women yeah. who you will, know some of them. Yeah. Is there a site for that? Oh, no, I don't need no sign. Like, who you know? Because I don't even believe you say they make me what they make me. You want a reference? Huh? I, <laughs> no, I, I would say a woman like that homeboys. is far and few between, but it, yeah. it, it's yeah. possible if you try hard enough. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think a lot of those are out there. I, I, nah, honestly, they, they, I, that I, job didn't feel quick. Yeah, dog. What are you talking Someone about? Someone who's needy. 
There are plenty of women who are needy out there. There has to be a ton of them. There has to be dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of them. The only reason I say that is think about all the 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 men that's being taken care of by their woman while they sitting home ain't doing shit. Oh, black women not paying for that shit though. I think it's a bunch of old white women though. Yeah, it's probably more. And they looking for like, I, no, like Captain America. Black no, black women doing that too. I think black women are doing that too. You think so? Yeah, I'm certain. I think it's much smaller numbers. I mean, I'm sure I some agree. somebody's yeah. doing it somewhere, but if it, yeah. like not a noticeable number. For a young black like, man. Yeah, and, yeah, and he I has good dick. I definitely yeah, see Yeah, he has to have good Because there are so many women who fantasize about black men, and mm-hmm. especially young black men who are, you know, That's real. Mm-hmm. stocky I, I found, yeah. and mm-hmm. ready to go. And, and the only thing that she's asking is that's that... Stalking. Why are you rubbing And the only thing that she's asking is not for him not to run the streets. That's it. She's like, just, come on, John, just just stay home, okay? Just, Shut up, hope. <laughs> Shut up. You don't have to go out every night. Hope you won't be doing that's it. That's the only thing she's asking yeah. of him. Yeah. Go get me some water before I go out with homeboy. <laughs> Why you sound so aggressive? Because that's how the one she won't sound. She don't want to buy sound like nobody oh, like yeah, on the he's table. Right. He's oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he right. want he want he she want six gold to the bottom. Ew. He was in, but for no vi- non-violent crimes, <laughs> <laughs> credit card scams. Oh you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's record kind of. Oh, clean. she wants to yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I told you wasn't gonna control me. Now look, I'm going out. <laughs> I'll practice. be back. <laughs> Not damn milk in this place. I know that bit. I, I think that niggas with good dick get more respect. They I do. think that you talk we to them We respect you way more because yeah. you're actually pleasing us. Yeah. If you if you got whacked it and like what else do you really have going? For you? We're not gonna want to be with you. I'm out here providing for you. I'm cooking That's for you. That's why that lady got left. I don't disagree with that. I think, All that shit. That's I think, why that, I think, that guy got left after what was it? Ten I, years. I think. I, I think most. Of, but I think. I think. I think the vast majority of suburbia. Is soccer moms not getting pleased by their husbands? Mm, like yeah. I think so. When you say I think that, I think that's the vast majority of the American middle class. I wonder are those women cheating or are they just suffering in silence? I think Some a of lot them. of them are suffering in yeah. silence, and so, uh, from what I see, like a lot of their you know their husbands are off, you know, screwing oh, the yeah, younger I mean, ch- women. Yeah, of course, and, and they're he ain't getting that attention he needs from his wife. Man, oh. and, and the funny part is, they're at risk to be replaced. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so is he. I don't think you guys see it in both. No, yeah, yeah, so let, let, let us speak same. on that, though. Speak on that. Let us speak on that. What do you mean? Don't you think that she wants somebody younger with more stamina? She might not get that. Though. She, listen, let's, 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 let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. She might People don't like to hear though. this. People don't like to hear this. It is much easier for a man out here who's kept himself up than some single mom with two kids. That is just, it's easier. A man aging. To, to, to do what? A man aging. Everything. To get somebody who does. Listen, can she go out here and get fucked? Yeah, because niggas stick their dick and everything, right? But, like, is she going to go out here and find somebody to, like, love her and claim her ass and say, this is my woman. I'm going to take care of this other nigga kids. I'm going to be with you. We're going to build a life. I think that's, I don't think it's impossible. But I think it's much more difficult for her than it is would be for the man in that relationship to go out and find a woman who will want right. to build a life with him. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. And I think I think it's substantial. And want to have his man. babies and yeah. have a family and with all him. this shit that she used yeah. to say. Nobody's gonna do for you what I did for yeah. you, John. No, you're wrong. There's <laughs> yeah. tons of people yeah. that will do exactly what and you do, and they'll so fuck sad. and they'll yeah. fuck me more. Yeah. That's so yeah. sad. It's a and it's a fact. But it is. It's, it's hard really, to hear. Though. It's really not sad though. It's God's way of giving balance. No, like, it's God's way of getting us fucked over. Women. No, 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 think no. about it. It's because we it's can't the civilize. They Come on, you're it's not a balance. It's like the women are out here single moms and are not happy and have been left to for their man to go. Through this the is the price to pay. This is the price to pay for being able to fuck whatever yeah, dick you want. Yeah, the power of choice. You so have you have the, choice. You have complete power of yeah. choice. Choose every that day. lame nigga. This is something forever and never. But this you don't choose. A, this you is choose a choice God, God didn't even give to us men. We can choose and hope, but if they always say a man chooses. Yeah, nigga, she got to choose too. Like you ain't hitting this hole over the head and bring her back to your cage. Jesus, what I just say? Who she choosing? She ain't choosing that lame I'm nigga. I'm not saying. Take care of. And I agree. She and Dante. I'm, 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 I'm just saying, not especially the people who got their shit together, you have more of an opportunity. But my point is, at the end of the day, and when it comes down to a woman, man, she still is not going to have those same type of choices in the end as a man. Where I just I think I already said that. I think what, it's real. What were you saying, Sasha? Um. I don't remember where it was that I heard this, but I heard that a man chooses who he wants to marry and a woman um, gets chosen to be married. We don't always necessarily like Do the get to choose. Mm-hmm. We kind of sometimes women settle. Yeah. Into a lot of the times women yeah. settle really for really somebody who sense. wants to really, pick them because not every man proposes. Yeah. That's we know true. that. And women aren't proposing these. We days. know that. What's up, Olo? 
Don't, don't call my boy out there like that. No, that's real. And, and if you want that dicks. family and marriage, you settle, and then you suffer in silence. You knew the dick was whack. Terrible. But you still married his ass because he because was the one that we're marrying. And decent person. And he wanted a family. Yeah. Mm. Even though his hairline is back to his <laughs> ear and shit. No, I saw somebody. You're not gonna talk about Herbert like that. <laughs> no, no, I saw somebody today, and I felt I, it, I, it was the weirdest thing to think. That's how I had to ask for forgiveness immediately. But forgive me, Jesus. But no, oh, he walks by his lady, is pregnant as hell, with his hairlines all the way back here, and then he got these weird. Ass, so I was like, dog, have daughters, dog. Don't have any sons. Like they gonna be bald at 17, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, can, they can fix that shit now. He just ain't going through it. They can yeah. fix that shit now. Well, maybe so, man. Maybe so. He's this, 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 but he can't satisfy me sexually. If it's one or the other, then no, then you don't marry that person. You don't even be in a relationship with that person. That's my point. I'll give you a good example, man. Um, Me and you know somebody who, man, had a really good dude, right? Dude was working 40 hours, making decent money, taking care of his kids, taking her out, providing everything that she wanted, Mm -hmm. everything that she needed, and was lame as shit in the bedroom. So the power of the D evidently was non-existent. Damn. And not a Jeezy. <laughs> Jeezy. Um, and she ended up leaving that man for just someone who had amazing dick. That's it. And you know what the fucked up thing is? And y'all tell me if this is accurate now. And you know what? Since you do a, you know, you do a, you deal with a lot of women all the time. I've seen situations where a woman will stay with a with a brother who has good dick way longer good and he, can, he and he might not be shit but way longer than a good man with subpar dick oh, yes. she, she digmatized though that's yes she is digmatized no yeah. good dick mm-hmm. is a blessing <laughs> hallelujah like they <laughs> They know not every nigga Amen. is gonna be able to make them come. Dog, that's a fact. You it's talk hard. to any girl. You guys don't really do that so much. And not necessarily you, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's it. not easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some I, women I still are still from a man. You still have a what? Say what? Say what? No. And, and off of the intercourse. Hold on, say what? You heard what she said. Off of nothing that they've done. Not off of nothing? Damn, Damn not even head. That makes no. me feel bad. Dog, I I hurt for you. Yeah. yeah it's all right. <laughs> if I could if I could hook you up, girl, I would have made it my mission. Yeah, for sure. You know. My question is, which is more powerful then, the pussy or the dick? I think the vagina. Yes. I mean, I don't think any of us could sit here and say yeah, anything hard, else. Hard, you like, that one, dog. Uh, motherfuckers do wild <laughs> things for the vagina. I mean, men like, will kill, men will die. Yeah. They, 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 you know, how would they wait? It was a lunch. At, Crazy. At, at early in the morning, yeah. Man. And he hit it one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it was bomb. But one time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might have been a fluke day. She might suck the next time. Yeah, true. As we talked about the power of the pussy, and now we talk about the power of the dick, we evidently figured out which wins. I yeah, mean, I think we knew. Like a like a, with a far stretch. I think we knew going in. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give us the the corporate lab? No, I'm good. Was- <laughs> I mean that that's true though. It can do way more than what yours can. It stretches. It it mm-hmm. gives life. Not only does it, yeah. you know, hold you and and ten pound humans come out. It's true. Thing. I You're like- right. She and then says it wraps it you up in a warm you. blanket. Oh, she says. Well, now everybody, that, everybody blanket don't work the same though. Some people blanket and lost their elastic on it. The sheet. Yeah. Some of them blankets look like they ain't been <laughs> in the washer in about. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> about ten years. That's tough. They ain't putting no fabric soft. We don't want to talk about that. Okay. So do on. do you think if your man withholds sex, it puts him in a power position? Have you ever been in that position where you felt I like? But I feel like if he withheld, if yeah. he withheld sex, I'd be upset, and it would, it would make me do what he wants. Yeah. Only if it's amazing. Hey, hold on, hold on. First of all, stop. Damn, hold let on. That you that felt, felt so, yeah, what did you, you just say? Not. This isn't all women speaking. I know. Just you, to be for, clear. It's for you, boo. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sasha. 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 <laughs> you do it. Yeah, if he did alone. withhold sex, I would start questioning myself. Like, okay, so what do I need to do for you? What he, is the problem? Let's said, figure this, this, this out. And I think a man should do the same for a woman who's yeah. withholding sex. And he so, said, I want you to do this. And you going to say, is it, if, it's re- if it's reasonable. Yeah. So it's like, safe to say you would do anything to please nope. him. Including anal. Uh, no, no, I don't know. I haven't <laughs> been there yet. You no, I haven't been, been there yet. Are you you can't that? speak to that though, no, honestly. I can't. So, You're talking about the man that you love and you want to be with forever. You can't see you saying yes to a different Attempting? Guy. 
I think they're the. I think you you have to try things. You don't know that you don't like it until yeah, you try. You got a YOLO. I believe in YOLO too. <laughs> and that that's, goes for that's it. tough to accept. You know, it's tough to accept that this is who you want to be with and love, and you feel like you're meant to be. But they're gonna make you do some shit that you really don't want. To do. <laughs> that shit feel like, like rape. If you love that person and adore that person, you yeah. do. You'll pee on his chest. Try to yeah. pee on his chest. If he asks you to. That's not that hard. I mean, but you do it though, right? Probably. Once. Yeah. Pee on his yeah, chest. Yeah, you got a chubby, didn't you? <laughs> what, you know, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you look at him differently though? No. No. No, it's still my man. I still love my man. She really? called you out on that shit though. Whenever y'all fight, oh, oh yeah, when oh, we break up, oh, pee pee neck ass nigga, oh pee pee neck ass. Only to him, but yeah. not on the internet or right. not something like yeah. that. But I'll talk shit just because I like to. talk You see that to y'all same group, y'all same friend group chat on accident? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a group chat. Oh, oh yeah, chest we bastard. say everything in our group chat. You know whenever, what all y'all dicks look like in our group chat? Uh, God damn. Whenever you hold see on, her, hold on, we can't pass that. <laughs> We can't oh, miss. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Sorry, ladies. I called this out. Is that yeah. real, though? Of course, is that real, though. Of course. Of course. Of course. Any Let's picture they get, they're going to pass that shit. It depends on what type of women It's going to be have, in the trusted circle. But, it's not going to be random. It's going to be in that few. I don't, I don't think y'all, y'all, y'all see that motherfucker. Picks. Y'all look at him like, oh, medium, length ass dick, nigga. Yeah. How you doing, Charles? Come here. <laughs> Bring it in. I yeah, have nothing wrong with a medium dick, okay? I just want to let y'all know. I don't think that they do it with their relationship, man. I think they do it more with the niggas they just fucking. That's true. Because women don't want their friends to know what... Their man's yeah, penis. If you see how my shit curve up to the G spot, hey, you don't want to share that. Hey, <laughs> turn up, turn that. up, turn up, turn up. They, they don't, yeah, they don't want that, especially if they know that their friends are, you know, women who just sleep around. Yeah, yeah you know, that is true. I've noticed that women who really are into their man and, and they don't want to share anything about them, Mm-mm. any information. Especially when they know they have something good, they're going to keep that a secret if they're a smart yeah, woman. Yeah, I've, I've known a lot of women to do that. Like, they don't even like. Hey, how are you and your relationship? We good. They Honestly, don't even I don't even ask overdo women. it. They don't I don't ask women it. about their men like that. I don't look. Mm-hmm. If I meet their man, I don't really look like to look them in their eye. It any because I know that women are really insecure. And not all women, but women can be very insecure about hey, their man. How Darnell doing? He doing okay? Nigga savages too. And yeah. there's so yeah. many women who will legit like try and take your man, like your really? friend. I, I know somebody who Dude. was living in somebody else's house and she was sleeping with her hey. friend's man. And for God, months. God would never That's put me in those situations either. <laughs> for see? months. Any man with the right level of testosterone is fucking the person who's living with them. I'm just being honest. That's happening. Don't, don't, try, right. don't try to be PG. I said most. I didn't say all. So, most would be 80%. So if, you, if a friend is staying at the home, no matter who she is, as long as... You know what I'm saying? If she's I'm t- allowing it, then... Right, I'm gonna tell you, and I'm going to tell you why. Because... I'm not even talking, it doesn't even have to be in this right mind. It could be everybody drinking one night and hanging out. It's very easy. The friend takes off, right? Because she trusts her homegirl. She trusts her man. Like, these motherfuckers going to be fucking in my True. house. And she get fucked and she came And she came into the living room with a cami and some boy shorts on. And she big chested she and, and her panties. Sometimes on. women are, in, are, are really unreasonable. You know, the shit that y'all wear, and I know it's wear what you want, et cetera. And, here we go, here and we I go. Get that. But no, I'm just keeping it real. Like, sometimes y'all got to know when that shit is unnecessary. In church, you know your body big. You you can't wear form-fitting dresses. Every nigga behind you. I have a friend you, like that. Every nigga behind you, he can't hear the sermon yet. I ain't heard the word yet. You right. All he's trying to do is... Not focus on your ass, and he's constantly asking the Lord for forgiveness Get throughout the entire her. service. <laughs> Why he got that's you, the see that's he's given the whole church for. What you want the nigga to do? He wait for her to catch the Holy Ghost. Yeah, that's the body she's her. given. What you want uh, the nothing's wrong with that. I just wish she would have wore a, a slab slight, off the floor. Wow. Sorry. Can you wear a slightly more free flowing dress so that you can feel better about yourself? And that's why mm-hmm. I know it's insensitive. I'm but listen, I'm gonna damn, have to make me you know feel bad about myself. You wear the hell you want to. Yeah, I'm standing stand in front of me. I don't know. I just feel like y'all know men are looking, and I we don't know, know what's your so, mindset. We know. Same what's thing your at the mindset gym too. on it. Same man. thing at the gym too. Same thing. Yeah. I mean, I I like to look good, yeah. so I like to look good at the gym. I like mm-hmm. to look good at church. I like yeah. to look good when I'm going to Walmart. I like to look good yeah. wherever, I'm wherever I'm at my house. Walmart looking right. Let me ask you a question though. So when you at the gym and you know dudes is ogling you. Oh yeah, they right? do. Right? Like you don't get mad, do you? She liked that shit. Did you see the way yeah, she lit she, up? And I wanted her to say I it. I love that shit. I don't. Uh, 
Sometimes if they're ugly, oh, this is terrible. Hey, no, say it real. You keep it real. This is terrible. Okay. I know it's a bad opinion, but if they're ugly, I don't like them to look at me. If yeah. they look good, then I'm like, okay, yeah, I got yeah. it. You know. Mm-hmm. But with, like that. that's bad. It's oh. a double standard. So you never did to that bottle now. Hold one on. Time. <laughs> oh no. We no. talked about this earlier, <laughs> and this is the perfect time to ask. In those situations where you catch eyes with a guy who, oh, he looks good. He obviously is feeling you. Mm-hmm. Is that a signal for him to approach you, or do you just want to know, get that feeling, and move on? on? I think that he can approach you, and if you are a decent woman and you have someone, then you tell them I'm not interested. Okay. So basically, right. though, it is a green light to of say, course it's an invitation. "Yes, come on." Yes, if a woman smiles at you and you're smiling back at her, and yeah, you're... and it and it's more than like five seconds. Yeah, yeah, you only need to like maybe two, maybe three, maybe three. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I've never done that, but from. You never smell that man before? No, because I'm scared. I'm very timid. Really? I do not get that. I don't get that, I don't get that, get that, at, that at all. No, yeah. when, it, when it, I don't make eye contact. If I see that someone's looking at me, I look away. You really? I'm honestly, I'm scared. You've been looking yeah, you sent my eyes. You, you sent the wrong message. You said Jesus? She's been looking I, in I my know. eyes for, for a while over here. I don't know. <laughs> I look at that. She want to look away. You know niggas ain't shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, uh, shit. Man, that's crazy. Well, I definitely feel that, you know... The power of the day can get you what you want. I personally have used it many a time to my advantages mm-hmm. in life. Yeah. Um, Is that how you got that fresh red T-shirt? No. No, that came from somewhere. Yeah, okay. it's just, just to say. Okay, word, word. But, um, it'll buy you. You know, good dick could get you some like, no, monetary clothes. stuff. Clothes. Clothes. Mm-hmm. I bought yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. You I've gotten, you I've really? gotten rent paid for months. I would never pay for rent. months. Two, you got, you four got months. Rent paid I got four months of my rent paid. Same person. Come here, Come Same here. person. Same person. Same person. Come here, dog. I'm not even mad at that. I mean, yeah. yeah, it was just what you I know, needed. I lost a little respect for you. you. Said something earlier in the podcast, and I lost a little respect for you. We just got it back. I yeah. mean, got it back. I just I needed it. She knew what time it was, man. Yeah, but you had to you had to pay up. I mean, I ain't talking about with the money though. You had to pay up with your person, with your personality. I think again, the personality would had to already be there for it to even be. I'm talking about you had to fuck her right, bro. Oh, I mean, I was fucking her right already, though. You know what I mean? You know when you fucking a chick right when she suggested. You see, if I would have had to ask, that shit was wrong with me. I'm not that nigga. I'm I'm a man with pride. I handle my business. You know what I'm saying? Like business. But when you dicking her down and she's like, "Hey, I can do this and I can help you," I was like, you know. Girl, shit. You oh. almost cried? Did you cry like a tear came to you? Nah, head? you know, but you got to soften up for them that moment. They yeah. need that. They need I that really win. Appreciate so, you know, you, girl, you know, that's shit. That's that line. You know what I so. mean? And that's not even a line, though. I you really appreciate it. I know she needed that. You know what I mean? I'm an emotional nigga at times. So it depends. Oh, so it, it was genuine. It could have been. I, I, I can't remember. Uh, well, you be real. Just say what it is. No, I, it was definitely genuine. I undoubtedly did not look at it as, and I, I don't mean to make light of it. Okay, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to look at it at all because, again, if she offered it and it was sincere, I needed it, I paid her back. You know what I mean? So the you fact paid that. Her back? She, yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, My I dog. Did. You know, integrity. I didn't even know uh, you had yeah, that. I, I, was about, I was in a position where I was about to get on my back. game. You know what I'm saying? So I was in a position where I was about to get my game on. She just fronted a nigga, and I never asked. That was the beauty in it. I yeah. thought she was just paying your rent because you had good dick. That's what, no. how you made it seem. But, but, nigga, that factored into it. She didn't know. Well, there was no guarantees I was paying her back. This oh, was okay, not a, okay. so hey, I'm going to loan you this money. Like, no, okay. not at all. all right, she was going to look in the okay. gift to it, and I gave it back regardless. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Dick got that, nigga. <laughs> Integrity is what got her money back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and low-key pride and shit. Word, you know what I'm word, <laughs> word. So, but pussy that. wins though. Pussy wins. Yeah, oh, yeah, every yeah, day. yeah, twice yeah. on Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> every day. I love pussy. Mm-hmm. I second that. Are you attracted to women? No, I think women are mm. attractive, but they're not someone. They're not. They don't arouse you. No, uh, that that has happened once. Yeah. Okay, so you might be. What? What? Which your type? What? Like no, might you, might, you might be interested. You like, never know. What, what, what I haven't she, tried. Yeah, what about her? What about that time aroused you? What, she what about was that person? pretty. Mm-hmm. What she look like? We like details. She on probably there. was aggressive too. No, she wasn't. No. We like details. She was That's what really she cute. Like. She had like a little giggle. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> nice teeth. Mm-hmm. I didn't really care about the teeth, but she had good teeth. If yeah. she had ugly teeth, it wouldn't. Oh yeah, 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 of course. Um, long hair, long curly hair. Mm-hmm. She was half white, half Hispanic, mm-hmm. and she enjoyed the same music that was she I thick? did. She, no, she was thin. She was like, like my body type, I okay. guess. Yeah, small. Nice. Fit into yeah. each other. Not short oh, about nice it. More than a handful is too much. Y'all believe that? No. No, I don't believe that. Bigger, better. But I, I do enjoy just enough. I'm not that type of, you know. 
Yeah. I want just, I, I just wanted to be right. You know, I can appreciate yeah. a lot of shapes and sizes. So yeah. I just wanted to be right. Nice and slim. You know what I mean? In the business. Say, we appreciate Sasha. 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 Being with us, and we appreciate. <laughs> let me tell you something. Your feedback tonight and your your engagement was amazing. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Another Thank level. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Oh, I appreciate, no, appreciate it. it. Thanks for coming here. Thanks for coming here. This might be the last time. Yeah, yeah Sasha, sure. right? Listen, Enjoy. y'all. Let us know what y'all think, listeners. Let me know if you want me back. Yeah, we're oh, listening yeah. for sure. Brunch with the boys. Y'all know where to find us. IG, Instagram, Facebook. We on all podcast platforms. YouTube, Big Presence. Y'all tell us what you want. We're going to give you what you need. Brunch with the boys. Yeah. Coffee and brunch. We can have our conversations over coffee and brunch. Ha. 